In this video, we're going to take a look at rotating selected objects. You can see I've got my vectors for a safety first sign. And if I click on it with my left mouse button, you can see at the top I've got a rotation handle. That's currently telling me the angle it's currently at, but if I rotate this, it will update me live and tell me the angle that I'm rotating to. Now, I can actually enter a value in this field. And if I put in 45, for example, and hit enter, it rotates it 45 degrees anti-clockwise. And if I put in a value by clicking on the rotation handle again, but put it as minus, you'll notice it goes clockwise. Now that's just one way to rotate an object. Let's look at using a dedicated tool to rotating an object. So you can see here, if I go over to my transform objects, I've got this option here to select uh, rotate selected objects or hit R on the keyboard. And we've got a couple of different options here. So the first option you can see is either to use coordinates or the anchor points. So let's have a look at what these anchor points do. So if I click the top left one, you'll notice this white dot appears, which represents our pivot point. Now this is where the uh, object can be rotated around. So if I just click and drag the object now, you'll notice it's pivoting in relation to that new pivot point. So it's going from that top left one. And if I go to the top right, you can see the pivot point has moved over to here. And if I rotate it this way, you'll notice it will rotate in relation to that pivot point. So you can set that by using the anchor points or you can use the values here. So let's say you want to use a value of five and five. So make sure you've got use coordinates clicked first. I can use five and five and you notice here it is our pivot point at five and five and I can just rotate that around our pivot point. Now we have some other options here as well. We have the options to have a type of rotation, so absolute or relative. So if we go back into our anchors here, and if I do the middle point there, and if I go for an absolute rotation, I can enter a value here. So let's put in 45 and it rotates it by 44 degrees. Now you notice if I hit apply again, it won't do anything because it's an absolute move, meaning that it's going to the absolute coordinate or angle of 45 degrees. So it cannot go any further because it's the absolute angle. Whereas relative, if I set it to 45 and click apply, it will do it relative to its current position. I can keep clicking this to rotate it relative to its current position by the value I have entered in this box. And again, I can do a minus value as well. So I can rotate it the other way to go clockwise with the minus value. And again, it will do it relative to its current position. And as another tip, you can actually hold the Alt key on the keyboard and if you hold it down and rotate, it will actually do this in 15 degrees increments. You can see as I move my mouse, it's going in 15 degrees in increments. And that's by holding the Alt key, which is ALT, on your keyboard. And as well as that, you can actually freely move the pivot point if you so choose wish. And the way you can do that is by clicking on it and moving it around. And if you hold Shift, the snapping options won't take effect. And so you can move it freely to where you want to move it to on your worksheet, but you notice there the snapping options were working. And if I hold shift, I can now move it freely to where I want it to, and I can pivot where I need it to. And that concludes our video on how to rotate selected objects.